Welcome to Gyeong's Kitchen. Thank you for watching. 안녕하세요. Today I'm going to share delicious rice crispy bars in vegan way without using any marshmallow. Let's go and start. First you will need four and a half cups rice krispies. If you can find the brown rice krispies will be better. I couldn't find anything around here. Next one, you will need a half cup chopped peanuts. And you can put it in the blender to chop it. Then next, you will need a one fourth teaspoon salt. And we are going to mix it first. Peanuts, very high in protein. And the fiber, also vitamin B1, B2, B6, and calcium, which is good for your bone, magnesium together, iron, potassium, and zinc, and also high in fat. We all know that. <laughs> and has no cholesterol whatsoever. And good for your heart diseases, good for your skin disorders because high in vitamin E and it help you lower your cholesterol and blood pressure. We're gonna set this aside. Next one. Okay. You will need three fourths cup peanuts. We are going to heat this one. Put it in the pan. And I'm using our natural peanut butter without any hydrogenated oil. You know, most of the commercial peanut butters, they contain hydrogenated oil, which is block your arteries. You can get this one from Walmart. Next one, you will need a one fourth cup either maple syrup or honey or agave nectar. Actually, praise the Lord. I tried several times make it perfection. <laughs> and next you will need one fourth cup vegan butter. If you like to make a homemade butter, you can click the gums Vegan butter is on YouTube. Next, you will need a one third cup turbinated sugar. And then you're gonna turn the heat up. We're gonna make a low heat. Okay. Remember the low heat. Then you're gonna cook for five minutes to so set the timer. And we're going to mix it all together. I'm going to mix my all up. Oh, yeah, I will need a wooden spoon. You're going to mix it and cook for five minutes. Around four minutes, you will see the bubble. Then cook another one more minute. And because we are making a caramelized with the carbonated sugar in there and the maple syrup. So, I will come back and in five minutes and show you the next step. Don't go away. Welcome back. It has been a five minutes. And you saw the, all the bubbly, it's done. So we're going to put this peanut butter mixture into the Rice crispy mixture. Take it all out. This is hot. So don't touch it with your hand. <laughs> One time I tried to mix it with my hand and it was big mistakes. Oh no, I didn't get it. 
Okay. Then you need to have a teaspoon and some liquid thoroughly. I'm using a maple syrup here instead of the honey because some vegan vegetarian they protest me that our oh, honey is not vegan. Anyway, so I'm using a maple syrup. The maple syrup is very high in antioxidant and it helps to build the immune system in your body. Do you know they also good for your eyes? Amazing. And the good for your brain. They say they're really helpful for the Alzheimer's disease too. I know maple syrup is not that cheap but it's so worth it if it's good for you. Okay, mix thoroughly. I think the mixing is done here. Then after that, pretty simple. You know, praise God for giving me the perfect recipe without using any marshmallow. We, we used to love rice crispy. Now I'm so thankful we can make it in a healthy way. We are using a peanut butter, so it's a high fat. So I check it out how much fat that is. You can make a 24 bars. So each bar contains about five gram fat, but they're good fat. Moving here. Then spread out. And how, how much fat do we need per person? Say that from 40 gram to 70 gram fat. So 5 gram fat is not fat. If you just eat one. But Larry love to have four. I let him have four bars. Alright. Press down. Press down really good. You can press down is so important. So if you have another parchment paper of 9 by 13 cookie sheet, this is 9 by 13, then I will roll it. So it, it cuts nicely when you press down like this. Looks good. It's not done. Look like that, and we are going to put this in the freezer for 30 minutes. And 30 minutes later, I will come back and cut some rice krispies for you. <laughs> Don't go away. Welcome back. 30 minutes past. Just came out from freezer. So let's go and cut. Okay. Mm. This one cuts really good and very crispy. And you can leftover, you can keep it in the freezer or refrigerator. And I test it on the room temperature, they don't do very good. But if you don't have a good taste, <laughs> keep it in the room temperature before you eat. Okay, let me go and cut that few. I will show you. Like that. In here. They are wonderful, wonderful. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Maybe keep it a little longer. Ta -da. So, if you like to have a written recipe, click the descriptions for you. And we will post a closer photo in the, at the end of the cooking show. So, thank you for watching. See you until next program. May God richly bless you.